Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about my experience in college, and I want to talk about how you can make college easier for yourself. I've noticed that a lot of people struggle intensely when they get to college. There are a lot of people I know who got really good grades in high school, and then they get to college, and suddenly they're like, whoa, this is much harder, I don't know how to handle it, and they start struggling with their grades, and they're not really doing a good job of time management and taking care of themselves. And for some people, there can even be this sort of downward spiral. Like, I've seen a few people drop out of school or have, like, one or two really rough semesters and get on academic probation and things like that. So I want to give some advice that I hope can prevent some of this. What's the big change from high school to college? A lot of people often talk about how the difficulty level ramps up, but that's not necessarily true for all people. It depends on what you're studying, what school you come from, and what school you're going to. I think the big change is that instead of being in this structured environment all day long, where you're basically there for seven hours, and that's what high school is like in the United States, you're now in this kind of less structured environment, like it's a little bit of a free-for-all, and you have far fewer hours in formal classroom. So you have these big blocks of time in your day, and you might have these small blocks of time, like an hour or two here and there. And I've found that the key to success in college often lies more in self-care and time management than it does in any sort of academic tricks. Like, it's really easy to just fall into the rut of not eating regularly, or not getting enough sleep, or not being on a regular sleep cycle. Because most people, for their whole life, they've had all that structured for them. They have like an assigned lunch period in school, and they have hours that they have to be there, and then they come home, and you have like a certain amount of time in which you can do your homework, it's all kind of planned for you. In college, this is generally not the case. You have to figure out for yourself when to eat, when to sleep, all that kind of thing. And I find that a lot of people mess this up, and I think that the biggest mistakes people make are not sleeping enough and not eating regularly. So I think if you can resolve going in to eat regularly, try to eat at the same time every day, and try to eat a, a good quantity of food and eat well-balanced meals, if you can resolve to do that, and then make sure to get enough sleep, however much you need, that alone will probably solve a huge portion of the problems that people face in college. I find people often underestimate the amount that they're negatively affected by either not eating right or not getting enough sleep. And I notice a lot of people will be struggling on their homework, and they're like, oh, I'm studying, I'm trying to do this assignment, and I can't focus on it, it's really hard. And, and sometimes people think it's hard, when actually the problem is that they're not in a good mindset, because they haven't been taking care of themselves. But unfortunately, most people don't have this level of self-awareness going into college, because they haven't been given the freedom to develop it. I think that you need a little bit of experimentation to figure out just how much your mind and body can handle. And a lot of people, because they're provided with all this structure in high school, and it makes it easy to kind of just keep going, even when things get stressful, a lot of people never really figure that out until college, and then they kind of learn the hard way. And I think you can prevent a lot of the pain by just trying to, trying to take care of yourself to begin with. So that's my first piece of advice, just take care of yourself. The second piece of advice, I want to emphasize, this is super, super important, to be proactive. So if you go into college and you're like, oh look, I have all this free time, I can just do whatever I want, and you're like, oh, I got this assignment, it's not due till next Thursday, and it's only Tuesday, I have more than a week to do it, oh, I'm not going to think about it until next week. Well, right there, that's going to get you into a really big hole. Because when a professor is giving you more than a week on an assignment, there's probably a reason for it. 
it's probably hard. You might run into some roadblocks. You might get stuck and need to ask the professor or the TA for help. You might need to look up some external resources. Like in general, there are reasons why people give the time frames that they do, and it's, it's not because they don't want you to start it until the day before. It's because they want you to have the space and time to come to them and to consult other resources if you run into trouble. And I think knowing this going in can save you a lot of the pain. There are more things to being proactive, though, than just starting homework on time. And I think a lot of it is thing, little basic things that some people take for granted, but that other people might not. Getting to class on time or a few minutes early can be a big difference in some classes. There's some classes where the material builds off itself, and if you come into a lecture late, you might be totally lost. This is especially true in math classes, but it can happen in any kind of class. Also, I find if you really care about a subject, sit in the front and like really pay attention. Like being kind of on point when you're in class is more important in college, I find. And I think this is partly related to the fact that you're spending less time in the classroom. Like if you're in a class every day for 50 minutes or whatever, eh, it's sort of like whatever. But like in college, you might have a class that is only 50 minutes three times a week, and it might not even meet every week. There's some classes that are like canceled from time to time. And so you really need to optimize the use of that time. Like make sure you're really focusing when you're in class. So that's kind of the second piece of advice is to try to be proactive. Um, also, I want to talk about reading, because a lot of people don't realize how important reading is. Okay, in a lot of classes, you will get assigned reading, and some professors just put it on the syllabus, and they kind of assume that you're going to do it. And sometimes it's assigned before class or in association with a particular lecture. And I've met so many people who go to college, and they, they see this assigned reading, and they just don't do it at all. And it's really interesting. I took this intro psych class, and everyone was telling me, wow, this is a killer class. It's really hard. A huge portion of this, the people in this class fail it. And so I was a little bit scared, but I don't know, I was pretty confident at the same time. And I was thinking to myself, I really want to stay on top of the reading. So I made sure to do all the assigned reading on, in the time frame that it was assigned. And I got to the first test, and I didn't really do any additional preparation. I just went to lecture, paid attention, did the reading, did the first test, and it seemed hard, but I got an A on it. And I knew people who failed it and who got poor grades on it. And I, I was curious, I asked them, I was like, oh, did you do the reading for, for this? And they're like, oh no, I, n I never really opened the textbook. And it's like, gee, maybe that's why you failed the test. Maybe that's why you're finding this class so hard. It's kind of obvious to me, but some people don't make that connection. Like, um, a lot of professors structure their classes in such a way that you have to do the reading. They're not going to reiterate all the material in the lecture. And there's going to be stuff that's in the reading that they assume that you're going to know, that you need to know in order to perform well on the tests. And if you don't do the reading, you're not going to do it. You learn it. And yeah, so basically that's my last piece of advice on the being proactive. Like, actually do the assigned reading. I've found that this whole set of advice, take care of yourself, be proactive, start things on time, and make sure to actually do the reading, go to class on time, pay attention. Most of the time, I found that that's enough for me to perform at a really high level in college. And I think a lot of the people who say college is so hard, they're not doing some of those things. Now, yes, there are some really killer classes out there, and there's some times when you might do all these things right and still have trouble. Like, maybe you don't quite have the preparation for a particular course, or maybe a particular professor is just really hard in how they grade. And you, you, you're probably going to run into that, and it can be tough, and sometimes you might fail things or get a poor grade, even if you're trying really hard, doing everything right. And that's okay, but I think most of the time, if you do these things that I mentioned, you will find college becomes way, way easier. 
And it can be rewarding too, because I found that like when I was in college, when I stayed on top of things, I would often get my work done before dinner. And then I would be like, whoa, I have all this time in the evening. I can hang out with people. I can be social. I can do whatever. It was really great. Uh, and same thing on the weekends. It didn't always happen, but a lot of times like I would work all day Saturday, some of the day Sunday, and dinner would roll around. It's like, oh, this is cool. I don't have these things looming over my head, this paper I have to write, this test I have to study for. I can just go out and have fun and not have to worry about that kind of stuff. But I still had in the back of my mind, like, I want to take care of myself. Like, I'm not going to be out at some party until 3 a.m. if I have to get up the next day. I think it's important to keep that in mind, too. But yeah, that's what I have to say. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.